no introduction. Fuck that noise. We're riding the H2. I haven't been on this thing in forever, dude. I mean, when Laura first got her bike, we went for a ride on it, and then uh, it rained, and then there was another day it was really nice, and so we rode on, I rode the Magna, and then uh, it rained a bunch, and then yeah, now here we are today. But fucking introduction, we'll get straight into it. So the title says, the title's true. The title's 100% true. I finally got a new P.O. box for uh, fan mail and stuff. If you guys want to send me letters or funny packages and want me to read it on camera and shit like that, that's what that's there for. As some of you guys may know, I've been fighting some weird issues with the P.O. boxes. I finally got it settled now. Everything's G2G, good to go. And I got a new one. And here's the address. I've also linked in the description so you could just copy and paste it if you want. Uh, there's no way I'm going to remember the whole address. So here it is right here on the screen. You guys can look at that. You guys can memorize that. You guys can think that's going to be uh, that's gonna be a P.O. box at least for a year. Now we'll, we'll do, I don't, I don't know how often, we'll see how often I get sent shit in the mail. Uh, but I'd like to make it like probably a weekly series. I don't, I don't fucking know. Suck my dick. But this isn't just entirely the video. This was, th That was to grab your attention and let you know that I have a P.O. box yet again. No, no, no. The rest of the video, that's the content. Today we're going to be talking about how much you suck. You as a person suck. But it's okay, right? Because, like, I suck too. I watched this video, PewDiePie. I've been following him for a long time. I, I think he makes really, really good content. Especially now that he's in his his, his later years of uh, fucking... Of, of the YouTubes and stuff. This not video is not about him, but he made a video talking about like hate mail or, or like hate comments and shit like that and like how uh, there's ways to handle it and it's it's important not to brush them off at the same time. It's like it's like yeah, there, there's hate comments out there that are specifically written to like hurt your feelings and be a dick. Like hey, uh, kill yourself, you suck. You, I hate your videos because you're a piece of shit. Die fag stuff like that. And those are the ones to ignore. But there's also ones that are so easily construed as hate comments that are just constructive criticism that it's easy to be like, oh, fuck you, I'm a YouTuber. Do, 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 do. What I mean by when I say you suck and I suck too is that it's important to clarify that I am just some fucking loser with a camera. That's it. I know my fan base, a lot of a lot of people are super supportive and it's it's funny to dictate between the ones that are supportive and ones that aren't. But there's gonna be people like, damn that you're you're not a loser, you got a nice car, you got you got bikes, you got girlfriend and all and while I appreciate people supporting me, that doesn't make someone not a loser. Don't think for a second just because someone has uh, some nice stuff, it doesn't make them a loser. Some of the biggest fucking losers I know have really nice stuff. But the good thing is, is that like, it's important to realize that just because I do YouTube videos, it doesn't make me any more special than you guys. It's important to clarify that. Totally fucking made it. Like, just because I make the YouTube videos doesn't make me any more less of a piece of shit than anybody else on this planet. The only thing that's different is that my videos put out the fact that I'm a piece of shit and it becomes visible for everyone to see. I mean, everyone goes fast. Everyone drives, especially this for the biking community. Well, look at this dickhead riding fast on the streets. Do you mean tell me that you ride every day following the lines of the road and you're like, I don't know, you're irresponsible crossing solid yellow lines. And this video isn't dedicated for those guys because those guys are fucking hypocrites. I've always been open about it at least. The fact that I can be a shitty human being just like everybody else can. But at the end of the day, the only thing that differs between you and I is the fact that my life is on a camera and yours isn't. But I don't want people to think that that is a good or a bad thing either. I do not think that my life being on a camera makes me any better or any worse than someone else in this world. I made a post the other day where I was like, it's important to be hungry and humble. I made this on Instagram. I think it's important to, to be grateful for where you're at in life, but realize that there's more to where you're, than where you're at, you know? Until I've got Bill Gates money, I don't think I'll be satisfied with my current position in life. Look at that fucking sidecar. What's going on, guys? But I, at the end of the day, dude, I'm just some guy on a motorcycle with a camera. And I've always said that. Like, I don't want people to think like, oh, wow. Oh, oh now he wants to be a humble. He's on a million subscribers. So I've got humble. I've got, I've got, I've got Kanye West. I've got, I've got Donald Trump. Be, 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 motorboating my lips for sound effects and video clips. Bodybuilding chicks with big clits. Taking advantage of young girls with small tits. Can I put the dick in just the tip? What's I talking about? Squirrel girl. <laughs> the license plate says squirrel girl. <laughs> but I think it's very important. 
I mean, this is gonna sound weird, dude, but I have a lot of people who who put me on some sort of pedestal. I, I, I hope that doesn't sound narcissistic, but I get comments a lot. People saying that, oh, I want to grow up to be like you or whatever. And it's not that I don't appreciate it, but I, I need you guys to know. I'm just some dickhead. I take my pants off one leg at a time. Before I fuck your mom. But it's important to know that at the end of the day, that I, me, am just like... Uh, just like regular dude, dude, like Chris Pratt. He's just like the rest of everybody else in this universe. Tom Hanks, just like everybody else. Keanu Reeves, especially, just like everybody else. Donald Trump, just, uh, Kanye, no, mm -mm. Are these relevant jokes? Am I doing the memes right? But just remember, at the end of the day, you're not above anybody. Whether you have a billion followers or a, a, a dollar to your name, it doesn't, you're not above anybody, uh, except furries. But I'm just kidding. Let's get continuing on with the day here. What was I saying? Oh yeah. What I'm trying to say is that essentially that nobody's better than anybody just because they do stupid shit like this. My least favorite word is celebrity. I think for a lot of people, this is gonna come across as stupid. Like I'm just some kid from Georgia that like rides around on his motorcycle and talks to himself and I have people come up to me and say that I'm a celebrity or they can't believe they're meeting a celebrity or shit like that. It's my least favorite word because it's like, it means absolutely, I am not a celebrity. I'm just some fucking dickhead. Like, oh yeah, you're the you, you're YouTube celebrity is even, hearing the word YouTube celebrity is even worse because it's like a, uh, you're acknowledging the fact that there's a difference between regular celebrities and YouTube celebrities, but you still have the audacity to call me a celebrity. I like Dan the YouTube guy, that's a cool one. What's going on guys? It's everybody's favorite Dan the YouTube guy back at it again with another YouTube video, sucking dicks as usual, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? You drive like my fucking grandma, do you know that? Being a YouTube celebrity is like being the most popular kid in high school. It's cool while it exists, but in a couple years, it will mean nothing. It's really easy for someone to brush off hate comments. Oh, fuck the haters, you know? People are just hating because they jealous or whatever. And as a content creator, it's really easy to kind of put yourself on that pedestal. Because you're like, well, I've, you know, I've got a million followers. You know, what, what does this guy have? He's got no followers. As if that somehow unvalidates his opinion or her opinion. I don't want to trigger anybody. And it's important to recognize the fact that uh, at the end of the day, and you know, doing this shit pays my bills and it, it, it makes me quote unquote popular at some point. Sometimes. It means nothing. Is that a female cop? Okay. In my entirety of existence, I've seen maybe four female cops, and three of them I worked with when I worked at Fletzy. So that makes that makes her number four. <laughs> Just because someone doesn't have a million subscribers doesn't make their opinions obsolete. So as a, like I said, as a content creator, it makes it very easy to um to to find yourself in that position where you're like, wow, well their opinion doesn't matter. I'm just some fucking. They're just some kid, you know? And it's important to clarify the difference between the two comments. Whether some people say, like, you're a dick, like, you suck, and no one likes you, or shit like that, like, very clearly that's not true, and it doesn't matter. But people say that my recklessness and um, my actions are childish and immature. Well, yeah. It's very clearly that I'm aware of that. When I'm on my motorcycle, I'm at my, like, ultra childish, go have fun, do whatever mode, you know? As soon as I get on my motorcycle, everything changes. I go full-blown autistic. And I, and I don't mean that in an offensive way. I'm dead serious. Like, I might actually be on a spectrum somewhere. I 100% mean that honestly. I could very well be on a spectrum. It's also important to note how, like, how much things in, in my personality have changed over the years. One comment that I seem to get almost on the regular is, uh, it's like, it's not the same old Dan anymore. And I'm like, that's a good thing, you know? As, as much as I want to entertain you guys, if I haven't evolved or changed at all as a person, like that's embarrassing. You know, I like doing more mature things and, and, and more fun stuff. And I think it's important to note most of the things that I've done to, to change over the years. One of the things that I don't like to say anymore is the word retarded. I had one comment that kind of changed it all for me and I doubt the person probably follows me anymore. But I used to say the word retarded a lot, right? Especially in high school, it's just the era, like, faggot, retard, those words were, like, heavily influenced in my vocabulary. Growing up, especially in high school, man, that's just, I'm not defending it, I'm just saying. What the fuck?
I'm not defending my actions. I'm just saying that that was heavily in my vocabulary growing up because that's how everyone else talked. While I don't mean it in a hateful way and I'm not talking about people with mental disabilities or people who are homosexuals when I said it, it doesn't take that away from people. And this one comment changed it for me forever. They said, wow, that moment when your favorite YouTuber uses retard as an insult when you have a mentally challenged daughter. And I was like, fuck. At that point, I was like, that. at that point, it, I'm no longer telling jokes and, and entertaining people that I find as close to my friends. It's like, I'm all over the world. And, and when I say it, I just mean, that's dumb. Or like saying like, that's gay. I don't actually refer to homosexuals. Like it, it heavily affected that person, you know, someone that they enjoy watching. And you know, I'm, I'm not above that. It was totally not okay. And I, I've tried to take the word retard or retarded, not only off of my YouTube videos, but like out of my vocabulary completely. Um, and, and same goes for, for the word faggot. I'm sorry if I'm hurting anybody's feelings, but just by saying these words, but um, the reason why I stopped was mostly because of Twitch, because Twitch is little vagina police. They're, they're super sensitive to shit like that. You get banned, you know, for something that I enjoy doing so much. With YouTube, I don't really care as much. I don't really care about YouTube's crybaby police so much as much as I do about Twitch's, because Twitch, like, heavily enforces their shit. YouTube, I'll just lose money. Twitch, I'd get banned. And, you know, I'd, I'd, I'll take losing money for saying offensive words any day. But yeah, after reading that comment, man, it, I was like, fuck, <laughs> that's so awful to me now that I think about it, you know? It's one thing if I'm pissing off people I don't know or care about. It's like, you know, whatever. But that's my viewer base, man. That's my heart and soul. So that's unacceptable for me to do. I don't really care about the whole like saying faggot as much just because a lot of my fans and viewers that are gay have like the best sense of humor and when you call someone a faggot you're not making fun of the fact that they're a homosexual like this isn't 1947. One of my most predominant viewers in my Twitch streams is gay and he has the best fucking the best humor about it. And I grew up around a lot of gay people. One of my best friends in high school was gay and you know <laughs> this is like the whole like I can say the other one because my president's black. <laughs> The only reason I stopped is specifically because of Twitch, and it's such a harsh word, man. It's that faggot. It's it's just such a hard word. It's like it's like it takes a lot of effort to say. And you know that some social justice warrior woman somewhere is just crying at the thought of it, which is kind of funny actually. But but the point is, is that just because I'm on YouTube doesn't give me the right or ability just to go around willy-nilly hurting people's feelings more than anybody else should. Being politically correct kind of sucks, but there's a limit to it that I'm willing to draw, and I'm not a hateful person, and I don't like being mean to people that don't deserve it. Though I ride through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Hey, did you guys know that in Infinity Warfare, Spongebob dies? I'm just kidding, Spongebob's not in Infinity War. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck is wrong with you?